Good morning, everyone. On this Tuesday, Chris Allen here on this June 28th. We're getting closer to the 4th of July weekend. It is getting terribly dry, not only abnormally dry, but in drought conditions over parts of the area. And we're going to have to wait a few more days before we can talk about uh, some decent rain chances. Although it feels one, uh, yesterday felt nice, this morning feels just really nice, really extra nice for this late in June. Soak it in while you can because the heat will be back and eventually to uh, talk about heat and humidity for a few days before we even mention rain. Again, now we are seeing a few clouds over the area this morning. It's going to make for a beautiful sunrise if you happen to catch that here in a little bit. It's just after 5 a.m. Um, but these clouds are not rain producers. They may be producing a little rain above us, but here at the surface, it's very dry. So whatever falls is not going to reach the ground. There could be that instance where somebody might pick up a sprinkle or a raindrop, but it's not even in the forecast. It's just almost, uh, minus, well, it is minuscule and it's just almost non-existent. Here's what is uh, nice this morning. Look at these temperatures, 50s and 60s. And I'm looking, sir, oh, there is a 49 degree temperature in Cynthiana, Harrison County, Northern Kentucky. That's, that's nice. Here in Southern Kentucky this morning, as you can see, most everybody upper 50s to around 60 degrees. It is a nice start to the morning. Once again, you can go out and actually sit on your uh, patio or front porch and drink your coffee and actually enjoy and uh, not be suffocating or sweating for that matter. Here's a look at the future temperatures. We'll start around 60 this morning and head to about the mid 80s again. Now, yesterday we hit 87 for a high temperature, but it didn't feel that warm thanks to the lower dew points. Humidity was not bad. The average is 89, so we were just two degrees shy of the average for the day. We'll go mid 80s today. It could actually be a few degrees cooler and less humid today than yesterday. And yesterday was not humid at all. Uh, tonight, how about a comfortable mid to upper 50s, say about 58 for Bowling Green. Look at all those 50s around us, even low to mid 60s south of us into Tennessee. Tomorrow, we'll warm into the mid to upper 80s, probably around 87, 88. A little bit more humidity we'll try to work in, but not much. It's not going to be enough to really... Uh, bring us a lot of heat until we get on into Thursday and into the upcoming weekend. Now, here's a look at future radar showing that little bit of this is, again, it's trying to paint here for us today with the clouds and the sunshine, a little bit of light rain. But what this does not show is what is actually going to hit the ground, which is pretty much nothing. There could be a sprinkle, as I mentioned, for some. There could be a, you might feel a raindrop and you look up and you see a dark cloud and you think, well, it's going to rain, but this is just fleeting. It's a, it's a tease, if you will, and it moves on. We see a clear sky tonight and a sunny day again tomorrow. The only place getting any shower activity is going to be the higher elevations over eastern Tennessee and maybe far eastern Kentucky. And that's it for the next few days until we get into Friday. Well, the concern is that we're going to go several more days dry. I saw a big field fire yesterday in Woodburn, and I'm seeing more of these. Even though there's not a burn ban per se that's out there, um, we got to be There's too many of these field fires going on, and a lot of uh, farmers are out there cutting hay, baling hay. Uh, something overheats like a baler or a tractor or something, and then it, and poof, or somebody throws out a cigarette. And here we're talking about fireworks this weekend. Uh, that's, you know, all of that is touch and go because we're, we're in a drought 
And I want to show you this, the fire danger as of yesterday in the high and some spots very high category from southern Indiana across the Ohio River down to the Tennessee border, and that's right over south central Kentucky. This comes from the um, the fire uh, aviation or the uh, the fire service, uh, the U.S. Forestry Service, and they're saying, you know, we're we're in a danger zone here for wildfires spreading very rapidly. And you look around, you see all these fields have been cut, which is you know what you do this time of the year. But we've got to be careful because it has been so dry. Everything is parched. Everything is a tinderbox. And those fields can go up very quickly and get out of control. I noticed several tankers. I think Woodburn was out there, maybe uh, Alverton. I don't know who was assisting, but it was a pretty good fire to start. And then they finally contained it. But you know, then there was a one in Smith's Grove a week or two ago. Uh, we got to be careful here. Right here in that danger zone from high to very high uh, class of um, potential fire danger. So uh, even though officially nothing has been put out for that, uh, do not burn anything outdoors. And I wouldn't even set off fireworks. It's just way too dangerous. Now, there is some possibility of rain as we get into the weekend and maybe even some better rain chances. And then we can think about, you know, if you need to burn something outdoors or if you need, if you want to set off fireworks, I mean, we're still a ways away from Monday is the 4th of July officially. So here we are, we're still sitting under big high pressure We've got that little uh, tropical disturbance, if you will, to the south of us. Cold front dipping from the northern plains and the uh, upper Midwest heading our direction. Eventually, all of that's going to put a squeeze play on the Mid-South. Here we are into Wednesday. High pressure is still in control. Here we are into Wednesday night and then into Thursday. Notice here. Stalled boundary to the south, lots of Atlantic and Gulf moisture. That's what we need. And then the next thing we would need is to have something like this cold front also stall out over the area. Well, watch. Here we go from Thursday into Friday. Ah, look at this. This Bermuda high brings in the fetch, the feed from the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico meeting up with this cold front to the north on Friday. So I expect showers Friday afternoon. And here we go into Saturday. The front is just north of us. That's where the heaviest rain will be. And then we get into Saturday afternoon. Into Sunday, the front stalls. And even into Monday. That's actually good news. If it stalls north or right over us, we're perfect to get some badly needed rain and some measurable rain. If it decides to stall out further south of us, that's not going to help us. But right now, the placement is just along the Ohio River, which would be beneficial for us, we hope. Um, and yes, as I mentioned yesterday, yeah, I know Thunderfest is uh, Saturday. And I don't want anything to mess that up. But at the same time, I think the more important thing is we get some rain in here. We can always reschedule Thunderfest if we have to, or, you know, just try to do the best we can with it. And we, you know, contingency plans are there. So let's not get the cart before the horse. But boy, I'd much rather see a good soaking rain in here than uh, anything else at this point, because it's, it's really getting bad. Uh, 84 today, mid 80s or so. Then we go upper 80s. This may be overdoing it a bit tomorrow. We'll see. Given the dry conditions, we could hit 90, 91. 93 on Thursday, both of these days dry. But then Friday afternoon, the 1st of July, we hit 93 before storms, scattered storms come in Friday afternoon, Friday night. There's Saturday. 
for Thunderfest with uh, rain and thunderstorms. It's 91, a bit cooler on Sunday. There's the 4th, which could also be a bit rainy or stormy at 91. And then we dry out all next week, first full week of uh, July. Temperatures return to the mid-90s. Yep, it's um, a hotter uh, spring and early summer than uh, we've had of late, but these things go in patterns, and so this year is different. It doesn't mean anything else. It doesn't mean everything's going haywire. The rest of the world is, but <laughs> the weather works in patterns, and so we're in that pattern where it's uh, a little warmer and a little drier than usual. Okay, that will do it for this edition of the Sam Channel Forecast, sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. I'm on my way to the radio station. Sam, 100.7, giving away more Thunderfest passes, Beach Bend tickets, Kentucky Kingdom tickets, Holiday World tickets. We've had a bunch of winners during the summer of Sam and a lot more to come, so just listen this morning for your chance to win. In the meantime... Thanks for watching. God bless you and have a great Tuesday.